um, back to a news story that mm-hmm. like, like, I know that we've been messing around with stuff, but I didn't know, I literally, literally didn't know that there were actually like deliver robot deliveries happening already or on site. Yeah. Um, so the thing though is this isn't even new for Japan. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have many popular restaurant chains there that have been using robot servers for years mm-hmm. yeah. now. Yep. And they got yes. hotels and stuff. Years. There's even a restaurant in Japan where the waitresses just act like robots. Stop it. No. They just here's your food. Like expressionless faces and like what? Okay. They wear jumpsuits that have like gears on the oh joints and shit. God. You gotta be kidding me, yo. Are they just determined to take the human element out of everything? My God. Okay. 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 Um, it's like a Hooters for people that are into robots. <laughs> They're wearing jumpsuits. It's not like that kind of Hooters. I know? get you. No, no, I get you. I get you. I get you. <laughs> it's if, a themed if, restaurant, you know? Like, yeah. Maybe, all maybe. the girls are lifeless. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what? Maybe to them, screws are boobs. You know what I mean? Bots, little, I don't know. That's what they want. The nuts and bolts. They look, the restaurant looked like it had patronage. Well, so. there is, okay. So the other thing about them doing all of that is mm-hmm. oh, here it says that they have been contending with an aging population right. and a shrinking workforce for years. Yes. So they've had to kind of really mm-hmm. accommodate and bring, like, mm-hmm. you know, be more forthcoming with yeah. that, which is surprising to me because Japan just feels like it's so. No, it's because the culture, like, really, like, you know, probably people aren't having as many kids. Like, if you don't have, oh. if you don't get that job, job, like, you basically, like, commit suicide. Thanks. Yeah. Again, uh, Korea, if you don't get a job also at Samsung. Also, that is not good for you, too. Oh. I'll tell you that much. The self-harm. Harm, the harm yourself. Self-harm. Self harm. No, it's stupid. Oh, you know what? This is a good time the to unalive yourself, is what they say on the TikTok. So I'm right? glad that, okay. So, real quick, yes. You know how, okay, they can't see it because of the stupid thing mm-hmm. here, but you know how I have this here? Mm-hmm. This, th- that is this picture. Mm-hmm. It's from Jennifer's body. Yeah. This is her, like, because this is her realizing that. Because of her coming back with the demon, mm-hmm. she's kind of unkillable when she's like full. Mm-hmm. Like she's like she's lighting her tongue and nothing's happening. Yeah. So I had posted that with like a a poll in a story, like you know, mm-hmm. what, you know, like I forget what's your favorite Diablo Cody movie, mm-hmm. and I had that as the background, but mm-hmm. I had other pictures around it. Yeah. And Instagram flagged my account. Dang. Because of that, and said that oh you're promoting um, self harm. Damn. I'm like, what? Damn. It's from a movie. And there's a poll mm-hmm. and pictures. Mm-hmm. And it's because their technology, yeah, I, I was like, flagged it. So then yeah. I put it for a review. They looked yeah. it over. They're like, oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, That was a mistake. Your account is fully reinstated. Yeah. Except it's not because I can't go live from movie lovers. For thirty days, Dang. even though it wasn't my mistake, they caught the mistake. They fixed it. They fixed yeah. the account. I still can't go live. Yeah. So now I have to go live from NXG for a while. Isn't right. that crazy? You know the the thing is, is that they have these farms of people looking at the pictures as they're posted, mm-hmm. and yeah, they have you know guidelines to look out for, and mm-hmm. which okay. So and you know what. I get that. Mm. But then they reviewed it. Mm-hmm. I have the screenshot where yeah. they say, oh, our bad. It was a mistake. Yeah. You're reinstated. Yeah. But I still can't go live for 30 days, even yeah. though you reviewed it and you saw that I wasn't doing these things. All right. Enough for that. That's it. That's their, that's uh, all the social media platforms. It's like they're a newsstand and we get to sell our magazine on their newsstand. You know, so like, well, don't tell me my they account is fully allow... reinstated if it's not no. fully oh, reinstated. Oh, yeah, no, I get, That's no, all I, I was it. saying. No I, no, no, I understand. It's just whatever they want to say, you're just like, all right, can you still sell my magazine, though? <laughs> 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 so you just have to. 30 days, 30 days. That's what they said. Mm-hmm. You know? So. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Now, the good thing about having uh, the only 
good thing that yeah. I can think of yeah. for having a robot delivery yeah. is no one eating your food. Yeah. You don't or have to worry about like getting on you about not tipping because mm -hmm. that's been wild. It's just a robot. You say, thank you, robot. Mm -hmm. Get the flock out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> so I, listen, I have the amount of stories that I've heard, I've seen, and one person I know who they ordered food through DoorDash or something. Mm -hmm. The other people ate their food, yo. Yeah. Or they dug into it. Ah. Uh, that is disgusting. That's gross. Yeah, that's absolutely gross. It's gross. Ay, ay, ay. And then you've seen, you, you, I think you've probably seen some of those videos that's gone viral of people like ring videos of mm -hmm. the person coming to the door yeah. and they're hassling them. I see yeah. there's only a dollar tip here. Yeah. Or da -da 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 -da. Oh my God. And I was like, you guys are not helping yeah. them wanting to keep using humans. Yeah, exactly. A robot isn't going to give me any kind of flack. No. No, it's just going to say, here's your food. Take care. Mm -hmm. Like I saw a short about on a ring uh, doorbell camera where the lady was pissed off because there was no tip in the app, but then the lady tips cash. Oh yes. I probably saw the same one. And like, she was like about to like yell at her and she even put a note yes. in the bag and, and she, she said, and she said, don't read the note. Don't read the note. Don't read the note that I put in your food. I thought you didn't tip. Don't read the note. Like maybe this is not the job. For you. Maybe have a job for you. If like a Listen, not getting a tip is gonna make you angry. That people don't tip. Yeah, it sucks. It does. But at the end of the day, you chose that job. You are doing this job. Yeah. And I don't know, because tipping culture is wild. It's crazy it's just, out here. Yeah. Like they don't even tip what well tipping culture has been created by the businesses to not give people living um, wages it's been held on by them it's, yeah it's been held on um, by them yeah, yeah no no i understand actually, tipping probably shoot. started i because... looked it up a long a while ago and and, and it was there was a there was a good reason for it to start in place it mm -hmm. was like in it was during like depression era i think okay. um and it was because no one like you know it was the economy was horrible mm -hmm. so there was their way of trying to help restaurants stay in business mm -hmm. by relieving some of the pressure Mm -hmm. And the patrons, everyone working together to keep things going. Mm -hmm. Then, when the economy like recovered, mm -hmm. the greedy restaurants were like, like, "Oh yeah, we oh, don't we'll have to pay just, uh, the servers. Keep this going. Yeah, let's keep this going." Yeah, so yeah. now you have we, you case. have servers. Um, no, no, yeah. So we have servers and things like that who they get upset at the customers for not tipping. When they should get upset at the, the system. System. Now, when I eat out, when I'm, you know, in a restaurant, I tip. Yeah. If I'm coming to pick up my food, mm -hmm. and all you're doing is handing it to me, I don't feel inclined to tip. Yeah. I don't say I never do, but that's that's not the same to me. Mm -hmm. Not the same. Mm -hmm. Now, if I've gotten, you know, excellent service or if I bring, yeah. like, all the kids and we yeah. go somewhere and, yeah. like, they're just, like, you know. If it's a place I know also. Yes. And that I go all the time. Yes. And, I, like, I know the yes. owner. It's a small restaurant. I yes, go there all I do the that. time. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving a nice tip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like, yeah. just because I want that restaurant to survive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is awesome. You know, I'm like, IC shop where we live. Mm -hmm. um, and he does, like. He, everything he's made with, na he makes natural. Like mm -hmm. he makes with real ingredients and nice. none of that, yeah. you know, fake crap. Yeah. So we, t we all, we try to go there to like, you know, fuel the small businesses mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll throw a tip jar in there. Like yeah. we, we, we've been going there for years. We know him, mm -hmm. a small business, mm -hmm. you know, you're right. I agree with you. Yeah. But as far as like, for instance, no knock on here, but if mm -hmm. I go to pick up my pizza mm -hmm. from Papa John's, I'm not putting anything in the, jar what am i what are you talking about i'm just saying that i don't actually know if they have a jar i'm just throwing them out because they were a corporation yes. <laughs> yeah so you got to feel differently and no knock if you want to but yeah. i'm just not let us know how you feel about robots delivering your food i mm. i'll take i'll do the drone delivery because i want like faster than the oh my god car than the car drone 
and the ice box on wheels or whatever they've made. So think about how many jobs this is going to replace. No, no, no. But this is the thing. You got to pivot. You got to become a drone pilot. Fahad. Yes. Or become a robot technician. I hear you. Yes. And I and I think you're right. Mm -hmm. When things shift, you shift with them. Yeah. I also know yeah. that the numbers... Mm. If everyone, yeah, no, not who was, everyone was, who was doing it, which shifted yeah. robot technician yeah. or a drone yeah. operator, you would have an influx of that, and there wouldn't be enough jobs to go around. So I hear you, and you're right, like pivot mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. But I guess the thing about this is that the thing about Uber Eats and DoorDash is, mm -hmm. even though it can be frustrating, this is an added side gig that people are able to supplement their comp their income oh, with and everything with things going bad and inflation but here they come mm -hmm. instead of working on ways that we can fix inflation we're mm -hmm. going to basically put more people out of work yeah. and make well, that's that problem uber eats well uber in general their whole plan was probably just to use existing structure of humans mm -hmm. and cars until they could robotize the whole yeah you know fleet. for sure i mean yeah because like you've got what and then just like, phase like, out humans completely yeah and then they because... don't have any overhead of human or car except for their cars yeah which they'll just get electric cars and then mm -hmm. no more oil changes or anything like that or anything <laughs> okay it doesn't matter <laughs> uh berm says thank you lisa i am the same way uh I'm not giving you a tip just because you walk from the kitchen <laughs> table <laughs> and give me my food. And Laura says, I won't be tipping robots. I know that. I know that. I might, you know. What, 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 why? Give them a tip about for, how to what? cross the road or you something. You have to go home and, 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 and take care of your robot family? Like, yeah. what, what am I tipping you for? Yeah. No, no, no. I said, no, I'll tip them, you know, when you cross the road, look both ways. Give them a tip like that. Give them a tip like that? Knowledge. The knowledge. You know? I'm pretty sure they'll have enough. Like, they probably have more knowledge. Yeah, but, like, you know, just reassure them. Like, hey. <laughs> reassure them. <laughs> reassure them. Like, hey, you're a good robot. You're a good robot. Yeah, give them, oh, you could just give, the, you give them a tip of a compliment. You're okay. Like, you're very shiny in Chrome today. <laughs> so, mm. I only pretty much use Uber or DoorDash yeah. if I'm on set mm -hmm. or if somebody else orders it. And mm -hmm. it's here's my thing. One, they uptick the price. Yeah. Things cost more. Of course. I watch my wallet. Yeah. So it's not like I don't want to tip people, but things cost more. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, if I'm able to buy it, let me go get it. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm a... <laughs> I, I I do things on principle, yeah. sometimes on spite. Uh -huh. So when when was this? When the gas issue happened, like back in 2008 or something, mm -hmm. when gas prices was crazy and companies were adding a delivery charge because of how high the price was mm -hmm. of gas and everything. And we were like, oh, okay. And then gas chilled mm -hmm. and restaurants were like, but we're going to still keep the delivery charge yeah we were service. like oh okay well then i guess i won't tip the person then yeah. oh no no that doesn't go to the driver yeah. then why is it on there yeah why is it on there what's the point like, why is why it on there do you hate like the re it almost feels like the restaurant is just like we can just get these little humans and they'll just do this work for the little bit of money but there's like any other corp corporation they just give you enough money mm -hmm. so like you don't quit and take a three month vacation. They're like, no, no you yeah. you just have this much money. You need to work listen, every week. Listen, I understand why old people complain so much mm -hmm. because you, as you get older, you see the BS, mm -hmm. you see it. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So I don't order. I don't do delivery most times mm -hmm. because of the delivery charge. I don't mean like Uber. I'm just mean just, just that's a little different. Uber Eats, Do DoorDash, because these are, independent contractors mm -hmm. but i'm talking about like if i order from a chinese place or a pizza place mm -hmm. and i want delivery and they have a delivery charge mm -hmm. i'll now come pick it up yeah i'll come pick it up 
because I ain't going to the driver. And they tell you. Yeah. Or the driver tells you, like, oh, well, well, well there's a $2 delivery charge. Yeah, but I don't get that. Then why is it on there? Yeah. And I'm being charged for having to deliver the food that I'm already paying for to me. Mm-hmm. And I'm not even, I, I, I'm not getting on the delivery driver when I say yeah. this. And it's the establishment. There could be a conspiracy that that fee is going to the driver and the restaurant just lies to you to make you feel bad so you tip the driver more and the driver says it too because he's like if they feel bad for me they tip me Mm. i have to feed my kids ramen noodles well does that make you feel better though no no i'm just saying (laughs) there could be there could be a conspiracy conspiracy also where we're just being squeezed for more money Mm because we know we want the food they know we want the food Mm -hmm. And they know we want the convenience oh, of getting the delivered food. Mm-hmm. So they're just like, they'll pay $2.99. It doesn't look like $3. <laughs> Whoever psychologically figured that out was genius. Genius. Was like, oh, we'll just put the 99 there. It's not 100 Yo, it just, it just, <laughs> it just set the tone yeah. for all sales. Yeah. That's wild. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys, let us know yep. how you feel about the robots, how you feel about Amazon. Leave a comment. 